<clears throat> Greetings, everyone. Thank you for coming today. Uh, I will try to be short. Uh, I had a longer presentation, but I will just uh, go through some of the things that uh, Split Dalmatia County did, and we'll uh, do a checklist on uh, work package five and other work packages, but uh, five is the main. Uh, I would like to welcome you to the second day of the of the steering committee meeting final and uh, it's nice to see you all uh, here uh, it's a pleasure I must say it's a ple it was a pleasure to work with all of you I must uh, congratulate Adolfo for being a good leader also Lorenzo very good financial advisor thank you so much communication was great between you two uh, hopefully all the problems we have uh, and minor uh, adjustments we need to do, we'll do it by the end of the project. We have a few days left, so I guess it will be done. Uh, I'm sad to see that Lisa couldn't make it. Uh, actually, the, the work package too is the, now the, 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 the only work package that needs uh, much attention, but... Uh, we will help uh, each of us, uh, I hope, uh, as much as we can to, to, to finalize the work package. I will skip these uh, budgets. So, uh, we had the, these, these are some of the results of Split Dalmatia County. We had the first SC meeting in Split in uh, 2019, which was very successful. Uh, up until a uh, few days ago, we did uh, six work cafes in total. Uh, two info days were organized. One was uh, on the camp university campus, the other one was in the city. Uh, five te thematic equipment procurements so far. It was not easy, but uh, one is still ongoing. Hopefully, it will be uh, done by Tuesday. Uh, 11 service uh, procurements for uh, consultants for different kind of services uh, and yes, it was a very, very busy few, few months, these last few months. Uh, we did a lecture about the project and EDSS platform on the university. Uh, Mr. Petar Vitas, our second consultant which works uh, closely with Igor Milic, did a uh, uh, lecture and I did also uh, introductory to the project. To the students, it was a good lecture. So yeah, we, have, we did that also. One international conference uh, on disaster management, which was in Split last year, we also did that. Uh, basically training of seal protection uh, uh, operators was uh, done two times, but uh, Igor will do a third uh, training for the Croatian partners, probably in the last week of uh, June. Uh, so I invite uh, Dubrovnik and uh, Zadar and everybody else that is interested, maybe university. Also, Igor will do a separate uh, training uh, for, for, for the use of EDSS platform. Uh, also, Igor uh, told me that he will uh, try to proactively uh, involve as much uh, uh, as uh, civil protection uh, operators all around Croatia to inform them about the existence of the platform and try to leave this on the state level so that everyone is aware and uh, because he has a good connections uh, all around. So hopefully we will find uh, uh, other, other partners to use the platform as well. Uh, we had two campaigns uh, involving uh, 400 children and 1,200 adults, which were all uh, done so far. Uh, one is still ongoing, but uh, we are close to the number we need to be, so hopefully by the end of the project that will be done also. Uh, civil protection exercise on school evacuation were, uh, was organized the last month. It involved uh, 200 uh, children of, from, uh, I think, third till eighth grade, uh, or f fifth, sorry, fifth to eighth grade. Uh, there was a, yes, there was a project, uh, 
I introduced the project to the children. I talked a little bit about the EDSS platform and how the children can uh, use the social networks to you know, connect to the platform. And then we did a drill, uh, evac school evacuation drill, and then also uh, we did uh, a drill on how to use fire extinguishers and so on. It was very interesting to the children and we hand over a lot of uh, promotion materials and so on. Uh, those children were also included in the uh, citizen, citizenship awareness campaign, uh, in the pilot deployment and also all that. Uh, final report on functionality of the DSS platform uh, will be done uh, when we do the two drills. So this was the first SC meeting in split, a few pictures <laughs> to remember. Uh, six work cafes were all done uh, mainly in the county premises. Last one was three days ago. It was the biggest one yet. We also procured the boats St. Jerome. Uh, it was uh, two years ago. It will be in the, so we are planning two, two big exercises on the 21st and 23rd of June. Uh, public will be present. It will be 150, 200 people involved at least. Uh, civil protection only will be 770, 80 people from civil protection involved in, the, in both exercises. So the boat will be used in one of the sea, sea exercises for oil spills and marine incidents. And we will uh, try to use these uh, exercises to test the platform in uh, real life scenarios. So I will uh, have a public present. They will be briefed on how the platform works and hopefully they can uh, test the platform on, 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 the, on the spot. Uh, thematic equipment handover was uh, also done last month, by the end of the month. Sorry, May the 11th. Uh, a lot of thematic equipment was uh, procured, uh, infra infrared camera, thermal camera, uh, ICT equipment for the use uh, of the platform, and uh, radio communication equipment and devices. This was a school evacuation drill that was conducted in the school uh, Kamenshina in Split. Uh, it was a very successful demonstration of uh, what the uh, fire department does, and uh, we use the opportunity to educate uh, children about the platform and to include them into pilot deployment. Sorry. Uh, this was uh, also a presentation in the University of Split. Uh, Mr. Petar Vitas was uh, presenting uh, in, uh, for the civil protection and I was uh, presenting the platform itself. Uh, there was a, sorry about this, <laughs> they are calling me from work. Uh, mainly the, the issue was uh, to, to uh, give uh, people uh, and the university uh, some indication on what we are doing and uh, how they can involve themselves further into the development of platform and if, you, if they want to continue working on it and so on. But uh, students were also very, very pleased to see that uh, government is thinking about their safety and so on. Two info days were organized, one on the university campus, other in the city. Uh, it was mainly uh, in the neighborhood where the, local, where the biggest population of local citizens uh, is because we wanted to avoid tourists uh, coming to the info days because they are not our target group. It was also successful. So citizenship awareness campaign is uh, still ongoing for us. We will, uh, we will use the opportunity to conduct it to the last day to gather as much data as we can. Civil protection operators use the manual says they are done. And uh, we plan on a third exercise by Igor Milic uh, in the last week for the operators. Uh, that will be done, I don't know, maybe at the beginning of the, of the last week of June. A uh, set of uh, capacity building lessons and manuals are done. Uh, that will be also organized probably in the last week of June for the, uh, for the policy makers, uh, the two-day training campaign uh, that will involve all the policy makers and uh, people that will uh, 
also be involved in the platform. Emergency service uh, regulatory framework is done. Final document is in the Dropbox. Uh, pilot uh, deployment methodology plan, okay, that, that was done. Uh, use cases were done. Pilot deployment uh, is done, but we are still ongoing on that. Uh, evaluation of pilot deployments report is also done. The first uh, two evaluations. The third and final one will be by the end of the project with the final results for us. Uh, <clears throat> final report on uh, implementation evaluation of pilot deployment uh, also done by Francesca yesterday. Uh, transfer intervention emergency service regulatory framework, one work cafe that we organized also done. And a civil protection adoption plan as a result of all these activities is also done and the final uh, version is on Dropbox and we signed it yesterday. Uh, the last objectives uh, we have uh, are uh, two civil protection exercises. One will be on the land and one be, will be on the sea, as I told you, will include more than 150 people uh, and public also. So uh, th this is ongoing. We are still, um, uh, we are still uh, managing uh, last activities uh, in organizing these exercises. It was a huge challenge. I must say because we had to do a public procurement for these two exercises, which is kind of beside the, it's not, it's not a very good uh, practice, but uh, we, we were told by first level controller that we have to do it like that, otherwise it will be questionable if, it, if the cost will be justified. So the first one is on the 21st of June and the second one is on the 23rd. I will try to uh, live stream both. So they will probably be on the YouTube channel of the project live streamed. And uh, we will also use the opportunity to film all these exercises to make the final uh, project video with some deliverables so that we have good media coverage of the project. Uh, capacity building intervention for two days training workshop uh, was will uh, include the policy makers uh, and uh, that will be organized as I said the last week and uh, civil protection operators user manuals also last week so basically these uh, let's say four activities are left for split Dalmatia County and to finish all the documents and reports to send them to Dropbox I wouldn't uh, want to prolong any longer, so this is uh, mainly what I have to say. The main thing uh, uh, to note is that uh, work package 5 is officially done, all the deliverables are done, uh, they are all available on Dropbox, and uh, basically for us, uh, for Split Amisha County, this part of the uh, project is finished. Uh, Igor, do you have anything to add? Okay, I will give one minute to Igor. I'd like to thank everybody on their collaboration and on their timely response with the, with the activities regarding the work package file. Igor. Thank you, Ognjen. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I will continue in English as Ognjen was also speaking English. Uh, uh, or I can speak in Croatian. But you don't have the microphone, so I will, I will just continue in English. So I would just like to compliment what Ognjen said. Uh, Seal Protection Network will support these two exercises with uh, evaluators. So we will evaluate the exercises and we will try to, uh, let's say, an, uh, encourage the use of the platform by uh, visitors. So we can actually see uh, from the visitors of the exercise how the, the platform will be actually uh, collecting the information from the emergency location. Although it's an exercise, it will be a demonstration, but still we can actually see how that will work in practice. And uh, operators in the centers will then try to collect this information and to see whether that makes any sense for them to understand what is happening at the site. And we will do a short uh, evaluation reports from the exercise, although this is not part of the deliverables, but still we will put it on the Dropbox so everybody can see how the exercises actually contribute to the awareness raising to the professionals in order how to use the platform. 
So you will also be able to see these documents in, in the Dropbox, and I hope that it will uh, be useful for you. Maybe you will do some exercises by the end of this year, and you can also maybe see what we have done good in these exercises and what it could be done maybe better. Uh, I will also say that uh, these deliverables was very challenging, but again, like I said uh, yesterday, thank you very much for all your support. I don't know whether all the partners have done the work affairs that was actually a part of the work package uh, 5.3, uh, because I haven't seen the, the reports so from the work affairs. So if anybody didn't share the report, please put it in the Dropbox so we can actually see what was discussed in that work affairs that are related to the uh, emergency service uh, regulatory framework. And uh, if it's anything to add, I hope uh, not, but uh, just to see uh, whether there is some information that could be maybe uh, additionally used uh, for uh, updating the document. But I think the document is, like Ogen said, uh, now completely finished. Uh, that's all I wanted to say. So it was great working with the colleagues from Italy, great working with the colleagues from Croatia. I hope that we will see each other on some other projects, better in the project than in the emergencies. But with this tool, I hope that we are now a little better prepared than we were before. So thank you very much for all the support. Thank you. So uh, I think that we finished with the work packages presentation. Uh, regarding uh, if there are any other questions regarding the platform uh, that you want to to ask uh, now or never more because this is the last meeting if you're still experiencing some issues some uh, technical problems some uh, you want to have some last request nothing so we can co yes please Uh, we are having capacity building sessions on uh, Monday and Tuesday, so uh, uh, is everything uh, working on the platform for, uh, for us to, to, show. to show it during the... the uh, può utilizzare la piattaforma per la... Sì, 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 sì. Adesso è tutto è pronto. Ok, that was all, thank you. Uh, From Agra, yes, uh, we we haven't done that because it's uh, we need to connect social media, okay, for uh, for Agra, okay. So I will do that then on uh, Friday. And, okay. There are Thank still you. some partners that don't have connected the platform to the social media. Yes, that's uh, something uh, uh, that block the functionality of the platform. So if you don't do it, the platform doesn't work. So there is not something uh, that you can skip, I think. Uh, yes, uh, from Pescara they did, actually, and also from, uh, from Venice, from the Molise region, of course, so from the Croatia side, the, the partner is still, uh, still pending this, uh, this task. Uh, I don't know uh, if you need more assistance on that or if you need more time. Uh, we'll, we can have a final, uh, final meeting with the technical assistance maybe between now and, uh, and the end of the project in order to, to, to fix this, this issue. Maybe Mauro, you can organize this online call to, to check that all the partners have done it. Because at the end of the project, for all the partners, the platform must be working. Also in case of audit or in case of uh, control, no? Also for your first level controller, maybe they want to check. <laughs> it depends, I don't know if they are experiencing uh, like technical dif difficulties, problems, or just uh, about uh, their uh, legislation, uh, privacy, privacy rules. 
Uh, for Split Dalmatia County, I tried to do it before, but uh, we have only one person in charge of social networks, and he was away to, for two weeks. Mm. I couldn't do it, but uh, once I return after the meeting, I'll try to do it in the in the in the next week. Uh, however, uh, as I as I was informed, uh, not all social networks uh, work the same with the platform. So, for instance, Facebook, I think it's a huge problem because it uh, draws, uh, draws information only from the groups and pages we uh, input into the platform. So, we need to first identify which Facebook groups and which Facebook sites we want to want platform to monitor and then we need to deliver the data to the technical assistance to input it into the platform. I think that was the, that was the case. So Facebook is a bit of a problematic, uh, but uh, uh, also Instagram is because it's the same network. YouTube uh, is not uh, very good for uh, this inf kind of information spreading and uh, basically that leaves Twitter, which in Croatia nobody really uses. That's the problem, but uh, we'll, we'll connect it. We'll connect some of the... Yes, yes, we will connect uh, all of the social networks, but uh, as I said, uh, mainly Facebook is used in Croatia and uh, for Facebook it's a bit more problematic to connect. But uh, we will do it. I will also coordinate with Croatian uh, partners uh, to, to do it next week. Uh, what uh, we will do on behalf of the Civil Protection Network, uh, we will talk with the national authorities and say that basically the platform can be connected to the so-called ad hoc groups that are set up on the Facebook in case of emergency. Uh, yesterday I mentioned the ad hoc Facebook group uh, that was uh, set up to support the affected area after the earthquake, which had around 76,000 uh, followers. And if the country can actually connect uh, to this concrete uh, page that has so many followers, so many information for a particular emergency, we can have a lot of information within the platform. But this is uh, something that will happen ad hoc. Of course, some of the emergencies in Croatia are having their Facebook accounts, where in some emergencies, some of the followers will share some information, but this is not happening uh, so often, to be honest. But this is a case that we can actually uh, propose to set up uh, this kind of procedure for all these ad hoc groups that will have so many information about the particular uh, situation to connect it to this uh, concrete page and then to get all the information in the structured way to be part of the platform, to be analyzed and to avoid any duplications in case of, uh, let's say, multiple uh, calls from one particular area that has been affected. And this is uh, something that we can uh, propose and I don't see any obstacles in terms of uh, legal uh, aspects, in terms of any other uh, privacy aspects, uh, why something like that couldn't be implemented. I think that the platform needs a normal Facebook account to work on Facebook, okay? So you can also open a new account, no? In order to skip all the blocking, uh, legal, uh, bureaucratic, and so on things, maybe this can be a solution too, no? To open a new account just for the platform. You call it uh, split uh, county, something like that. And you don't publish nothing on it, just to use it for the platform. Yes, but I think that... You don't uh, have to publish contents, okay? That's, that's, that's no problem, we can do that, but uh, for the platform to draw data, some data needs to be inputted on that uh, uh, Facebook account. Yes. So, if we just... In the registration, you mean? Yes, and we need followers on that. So, if we just make an account without any followers, empty account, then no, no data will be transferred to the platform. That's, that's the problem. So, we need to identify at least few Facebook accounts which will be uh, connected to the platform in order to, for platform to draw data from them. Uh, because the platform cannot draw data if uh, the, the accounts are not connected. 
So we need to ident identify those accounts and connect them, otherwise it will not work for Facebook at least. Quindi hanno bisogno di un account con dei follower. No. Infatti, anche secondo me non è così, assolutamente. You don't need to have follower. Why you think that? Uh, the uh, Facebook account is uh, um, necessary for uh, the capture uh, data in uh, social media. Okay, uh, is um, the the account uh, no with follower uh, only account because in. Uh, in uh, in platform uh, this uh, this account is necessary for the capture information uh, one account one uh, uh, for, for uh, social media uh, facebook uh, twitter and uh, youtube so uh, i think that in order that the, the platform but there is also marcello maybe he can say something uh, the platform to to get message from Facebook, you need to have just an account, but you don't need to have friends or likes, content. It's just to have the, the possibility to act on Facebook or not. Da quale page? Vieni qua, vieni qua. Oppure parla al microfono. Se quella pagina è nuova e non la conosce nessuno la, e nessuno ci scrive sopra, la piattaforma non, non legge nessun dato e sarebbe un contenitore vuoto. Ho capito, ma la piattaforma non, non prende i dati da una ter determinata area di post di gente che li pubblica? Su Twitter, su Facebook è collegata ad una pagina, quindi è giusto quello che diceva. Su Facebook, quindi Devo sulla pagina? Devono collegarla su Twitter, alla, loro, no. alla loro pagina, al loro account. Sì, so, so on Facebook there is this uh, limitation, on Twitter not. So on Twitter... Ma così funziona? Sì, funziona in Quella pagina, tu hai no. collegato la pagina della provincia della no, protezione civile. Io trovo qualsiasi informazione sui social media. Sulla pagina della protezione civile. Su Twitter è così, perché Twitter può leggere dappertutto, Facebook può leggere dalla pagina su cui hai l'accesso. Quindi è corretto quello che diceva lui, cioè è l'account che non è che devi avere follower, però è quello su cui quello conosciuto, insomma. Se ne apri uno nuovo devi pubblicizzarlo, devi farlo conoscere. If I made a post in Campo Basso that there is a fire, I put it on Facebook so the platform doesn't catch it. The... Dipende no. da Facebook dove? Cioè, su quale pagina di Facebook? Sulla mia. <laughs> su no, quella... sulla tua no, non lo leggi. Oh. <laughs> no. No, è sempre da una pagina. In, nel Poi nostro caso su quale pagina? pagine, ma devono essere pagine in, di cui... eh, Molise? Molise infatti ha configurato la, la pagina della protezione civile. Ma io non posso postare sulla pagina della protezione no? civile? Sì, come Pubblica. cittadino. Certo. Ah, capito. E Twitter invece no? Twitter no, Twitter legge dappertutto. So there is only on Facebook these problems. E do you have Twitter here? People are using in Croatia? No. Zero. Zero Twitter fan. <laughs> Only Facebook. We can make a campaign for, to transfer everybody to Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> it can be a new project. <laughs> Maybe Twitter will pay us for uh -huh. this. <laughs> yes, okay, so, so, so it's, a, it's a bit uh, complicated with Facebook. Yes, yeah, so... so maybe everybody needs to also try to incorporate uh, several Facebook pages that are active on uh, civil on protection this, uh, topic. topics and uh, connect them to the platform so that we have as much uh, inputs as possible. Because Facebook, yeah, privacy issues is a problem, but mm. Twitter is okay. So Facebook and Instagram is Instagram. the same thing, yes.
And YouTube is not uh, a channel where you, because if you need to upload something to YouTube, yes. it takes time, and by the time you upload and, uh, it, everything burns <laughs> out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So, any other uh, remaining uh, task to be discussed? So we can close the, the meeting, I think. If, uh, there is nothing more to say. And uh, thank you, everybody, for your patience and availability in this project, for cooperation. We hope to continue our collaboration also in the future with other proposals, OK? On this topic, on other, OK, other ones. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>